Hello my friends. So I will be showing you today how to make this folio that um, I showed you a flip through in my previous video which I will link in the description box below. Um, I did want to say that while filming the video, I'm not sure what's happening to my phone because I do use my iPhone to film, it starts to uh, film in slow motion. So what I've done is uh, when I was editing, I've just sort of speeded up a little bit of the video. Um, but I have talked through the process so that you can follow what I've done. It only happens a couple times in the video, but I'm so confused as to why that keeps happening. However, it worked out. Um, I show you how to make one from start to finish, and I hope you enjoy sharing this with friends and family. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you make some. And I really appreciate all the comments you left um, with my last video. Um, as I had said, if I had enough requests to film the tutorial, I would do so, and so I did. So I really appreciate that. Um, so let's get started. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, hit that notification bell if you haven't done so to know when my next videos are coming up. And I will leave every Everything that I talk about linked below um, and as always questions comments just let me know okay so let's get started the first thing I am going to show you is uh, the base back pages so for my project I used two envelopes um, I will put the link uh, sorry not the link I will put the measurements in the description box below uh, just because I don't know what size of envelopes you're going to have that you'll be using but I'll leave the measurements for these ones just in case you're interested and so there are a couple ways that you could attach your envelopes together but the easiest way that I'm going to show you is opening up your flaps and then just putting one inside the other envelope like this and then you have your base back pockets. So now to make sure they are attached properly, what I like to do is just add glue to the um, flap here. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I need it to attach to the envelope here on the inside. So that will make sure that the envelope is where it's supposed to be. And when you're gluing it, also just make sure it's even because it, you know, it does tend to move slightly because you're kind of adding two pieces of paper together. So I have this one here done. And then I'm going to just glue the other flap down. I just found this was the easiest way for me to do it. Um, of course, you can decide to, um, you know, change the way your flap is and only glue part of it if you're going to do something different to the back. But I just want to make sure that it's all nicely attached. And then that will be our base back pockets. So this is the next step. Um, and before I forget, I will also leave a link in the description box below sharing you the sharing with you the tools that I use because I get asked a lot and I'd rather have that all in one spot. So this is how this would stay um, glued together. So the next step for me was to decide how I was going to cover the inside. So you could do it two ways again. You could cover up just the flaps and leave the pocket openings if you hadn't glued that down on either end. But I decided that what I wanted to do is to cover up the insides fully and then open the envelope on the ends. So what I'll do now is I'll just cut off just the little bits um, on the sides. And I'm just going to do that quickly with my cutter. And I'll show you what I've done in a second with my paper trimmer, I should say. And you just want to cut off like a hair from the edge of the envelope. It doesn't have to be too much, just enough. You can see that there. So I've got to just straighten that a little bit, but then you have your openings on the ends now. Okay. So now that we have this done, um, let me just fix this because it is going to bother me if I don't straighten that out a little bit more. So now that I've got 
that down. I'm going to then decide what I want as my front cover for the inside and the back. So I'm leaving this open for a reason and I'll show you that when I'm gluing my pages down. So the next step you would do is you, were, you would gather your papers that you want to use for your back pocket. So I have um, just cut up a few, um, actually four different pieces and I'm just going to decide you know what I want to go on the inside of my um, fold on my flip out or if I want um, you know what I want to go on the front and back and that's just for you to decide you know what what um, image images you want to use keeping in mind that you know here because it's the inside sorry the front of the pocket or the um, the envelope your design might get covered by pockets um, belly bands that sort of thing right so I'm thinking that I probably want to use I think I'll use these on the inside so I'm thinking I'm going to use these ones for the inside pockets so the first thing I'm going to show you is what I do with the left pocket so because you've glued your flap to the inside of the envelope all you have to do is add glue to the entire left side of your envelope um, just making sure that you keep your center fold clear so the page doesn't get um, you know in the way of closing the envelope so as you can see here I just added glue to the entire left side and I've just added my page and now I'm trimming just a little excess that I had left over. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, you can see your pocket there. The next thing I'm going to do is the right side. Make sure here that you're only gluing on the close to the center ed ed edge there. Um, so you add glue to the center again. And then your sides, your four sides, but you will also be adding a little extra glue in the center in a different way to make sure that your pocket stays open. So I'm going to use the envelope itself and just go around the opening here and the bottom here. And this is how you'll be gluing your page on. This will make sure that you have your pocket at the end uh, when you glue your page to the right side. So you can see how I've added that here. So by gluing it the way we did, you have your nice back pocket available. Okay, so here is the back. Um, I decided to put that on the back. And, then and I figured I might as well show you the belly band that I will be adding to the left side and just the pieces that I might be using. Okay, so I like the idea of adding this in the center. And so I think what I'm going to show you is just um, how I just quickly eyeball this because it's just so much easier to, to do that sometimes than to measure, but. So I wanted to add this piece here in the center so I can add a pocket. So as you see here, I'm just marking the um, edges where I need to add the glue. And I'm just going to make a U shape with the glue because I want the pocket on the top. And then I'll be adding that ephemera piece to decorate, but also um, become the pocket of the belly band. And then of course, just adding the glue to the top and bottom and then attaching it to my page. Okay, so here is my dilemma. And I'm sure this happens to some of you sometimes. I really like, you know, this image and I don't want to cover it up. So I decided that maybe the best thing to do here is to use one of these glassine bags. Um, this one came from a tattered dream. I will link Denise's shop below if you haven't um, shopped there before. 
So I thought I would add the bag so that you could still see the image um, and just see how I'm folding it up here to make a little pocket. Now, if I were to coffee or tea stain this, it would darken it up and then I wouldn't be able to see through how I want to. So I think I'm just going to leave it as is, but um, I just thought that's what I would add there. And right now I'm just gluing the bottom to make the, uh, the pocket there. And I also, I like the idea of using the paper bags because I just, I really love the sound that they make when you, you know, fill them up with stuff. So you see there, I'm really liking seeing the, um, the image and then I can still tuck things in the back. So um, I'm just going to glue again three sides because I want to leave the center of the back of the um, the bag open for you know potentially adding something else to it. So let's see where I'm putting this here. Mm -hmm. I think I like it like that. So of course we decorate our bag how we would want to. Uh, the one that I had shown you previously, I'm just going to grab some of my goodies here. I did still have the little die cut, like the little tree there. And then some of the, um, oh, I like that all this bright, you know, some of the little sentiments from the kit that I was using. So I think I'm just going to gather some pieces and see if we can decorate this and see how it turns out. And I'll bring the pieces together and show you um, how I'm just going to quickly decorate some of the bits there. This is a leftover piece from a previous project, so I just thought I would add a little bit there. Then we would add our tree, and then I'll add that there. And I think that's just nice enough to kind of give it a little bit of decoration, but not overdo it. So I'm just going to add those pieces and come Okay, back. so we have the um, pocket in the bag. We have the front pocket and then the back that I left, if you see it here, I left the bag of the back of the bag open so that we can have an additional pocket. So you can just, of course, add all your elements to that, decorate a little more. And then here we have our belly band. And then here we have our little, well, that's too big for the pocket, but you know what I mean with that little pocket. Okay, so I'll add something there in a bit. I think I have a little, this one might be too thick. Oh, there we go. So there's that there. So we've got our center, our, sorry, our side pocket there, side pocket there. Okay, so this is now again, the front of our folio. So the next thing we do is I had the envelope from the kit that I was using from my porch prints so I'll show you what that looks like, like this, okay. So instead of um, cutting out the shape, I just cut a square and I glued, if you can see how the envelope would look, I glued the envelope together, but I left an opening, okay, so that this would be where I would insert my, um, you know, my tag or whatever. So before we, um, we do anything to the front of this, we have to um, finish our next piece, which is the, the window envelope here. So let's get started decorating that. Let me see if I have enough time to show you that. Okay, so for this step, if you don't have this uh, kind of envelope, um, I showed you the other version, which is using a recycled business envelope which I have shown you how to um, decorate before and how to, uh, you know, make the window. So you have a nice pocket through there. Um, so I'll link that video below if you haven't seen it and you have your option of wanting to do that kind of pocket. But for this one, um, which is an envelope from a tattered dream, what I did is I wanted to decide where my pocket was going to be of course and I want the pocket on the top so again I'm going to just cut off a little bit of that edge just enough to give me my top pocket 
I'm just going to show you that here just like a little bit because you don't want to take that much from the envelope but you want to make sure that it opens because I find that if you don't take enough from the top it doesn't open so you've got your opening now at the top and then the next thing we have to do is we have to decide our papers again what goes on the back what goes on the front so I'll come back with that okay, in a moment. So I decided this is what's going to cover the back of my envelope. As you notice, I'm leaving the flap alone and that will be the top of the pocket. So to glue this closed, again, leave your top open. I'm gonna start here because I want this part closed by my paper I'll be adding and I'll show you that in a moment. So I've put the glue right on that edge I'm actually standing here so I can see what I'm doing exactly and I'm just gonna make sure I'm in, in frame so I've got the glue right up to the edge so that would be the original opening of the envelope okay and I'm just lining it up so that it's straight and making sure that um, it's not um, kind of making this flap not work because we need that flap to stay the way it is Okay, and again, if you've got any extra little bits, you can cut those off now or later. So, I'm going to cut that off just so I can have an even spot to show you there. And, you know, again, these projects are just supposed to be for, for you to relax and have fun. They don't have to be perfect. So, as you can see here, now we have our top pocket closed off the envelope on this side and now we will work on the front so there's a couple of options on the front I've shown you um, you know an option that you can kind of tear pieces and just sort of fill on your edges but for the one I recently shared I believe it was was it Jackie or was it Carol oh my gosh I will link her channel below I forgot which of the ladies is I saw do this. Um, so she used a die cut and basically, I think this is going to be the front for me. I think that's what I want my front to be. So what she did is um, she cut up a couple pieces that would fit in the front. So maybe I'll use this piece. Just um, let me get back. I gotta get my pieces. Okay, so I, I thought this was very clever she put a piece of the paper that she wanted to go on one side and then she added the die cut to it and then started tearing the page around it so that's what i'm going to do now just to show you what she did so you hold it down and you start to rip your page around your die cut in that same circle shape course that the die cut has and then of course I'm, we go. so you're left with this but you can see now that here you have the perfect circular shape to go around your um, envelope what a clever idea right so thank you so much for sharing that and I'm going to do the other side and then um, you just see that they sort of go where they're supposed to just want them to sort of match <laughs> okay so that would be where that goes and then again I'm just going to line it up as best as I can notice that I left a little bit um, more at the bottom there just so I have um, you know a little bit of give if I need to um, cut around it a bit so again we have our circle and now rip your page around the outside of the die cut while you hold it down okay there we go and now we start to glue so making sure that your pocket is facing the way it's supposed to 
I'm just going to add glue to my envelope. Start on whichever end you want first and then line it up as best as you can get it there. Okay. And then make sure it's all glued down. Now, I'm not sure um, why the, um, I guess maybe my hand shifts a little bit. So it's not an exact circle at the bottom there, but it still works. And then I'll add glue to this side. Now, after this, I'm going to show you how to put the, um, the whole thing together, how you add all the pieces to the, um, of the folio together, the ones that we've worked on already. And as always, if you enjoy my tutorials and my crafty shares, please um, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know. I really appreciate um, knowing that. Don't forget to, uh, you know, like the video if you like what I share. And, um, and uh, share with your friends. Tag me on Instagram, Facebook, etc. Okay, so see how that that looks there. And now I'm just going to cut off the excess that I had left because I found I had to give myself a little a little extra there. So I cut too much. I think that's fine. So now we have our top pocket. And this is what I'm talking about. You can see a little bit of the white there. Um, and I'm not sure if I think I shift maybe sometimes when I'm I'm cutting my piece but that's okay because a little bit of distress ink will make it look nice so yeah what a fabulous idea to do that you can always use your die cut of course to cut your you know perfect circle and then just add it if you measure it properly but that's what I liked about that there okay let's begin the assembly of our of our little folio okay so we have our inside envelope we have the one we just finished with the flap, okay? So what I do is, I sort of eyeball where I think they're each going to go because I want to see, make sure the pockets are facing up. Um, so I kind of like that, um, the way that that lines up there. So what I do next is I grab my two pieces because I like where that one was. I'm just going to add glue to the inner flap of my front envelope and I'm attaching it to the one on the back as I mentioned before. So before I do that, I'm just gonna do it again. That's how I have it. This was the flap we had left. I'm just attaching it to the back of the second page. I guess we'll call it page just so we know what, what I'm talking about here. So you see that there. And then the part that I left of this envelope, I mean, I could always cut some of it off. It doesn't need to all be in the back, but just for showing you right now, I'm just going to leave it all. I'm adding glue to this entire piece here. If at any moment you need to stop the video just to see what I'm doing, go ahead and do that. Um, just in case you miss something. So I'm making sure that I've moved it off to the edge just enough that when I flip things over, that everything flips over. So I've got my top pocket there. Let's let that glue down. Okay. We have our front pocket here. And I'm going to use some distress ink for these pieces there. So you're seeing that here. And of course, we've got the inside that we worked on. We have our pockets and our pocket letting that glue so then the last part of course is the piece that we cut to fit the front there and this will be the last piece that we add to make sure that it covers up all our little um, flaps that we've added to make it all nice and seamless And so, of course, again, I'm just moving it as close as I can to that edge because I don't want it to um, 
to restrict it in any way from folding down. So I'm just doing that. Left a little bit on the top. Um, just a little edge on the top, which is fine. Um, because of the envelopes I'm using, I think it just goes nicely together. So you see how that goes there. We flip that over. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess on this side again. Okay, so I'm going to just finish adding some of the elements that I had done before. So I had my little die cut tree with a little bit of that green um, trim, which I really like. So trims I find very fussy to glue down and I like to use my double-sided tape for that. And I find that that helps things stay, uh, I don't know, just a little bit better on the page. And it also helps with keeping some of the fibers from just sort of going everywhere. Okay, so I like to do that. And then of course for my tree, just trying to see where I want it. And you can add glue to the whole thing because it's going onto the, um, the um, see-through window there. So it'll just be nicely attached as you can see there. Making sure that none of your edges um, you know, are past or else it won't open nicely. So we have that. And then um, the, oh yes, yeah, so this is what I, I liked in the other one. So see how you can see the layers in the back, which I really like the layers because you can kind of, your eyes kind of go through just the, the project. So I just picked this little Mary and Bright. Again, from the, uh, the digital kit that I used previously for my porch prints and just sort of add it to the bottom there. So it's kind of nice when you see it, you see Mary and Bright kind of popping through the background, but then as you flip your page over, you still see the Mary and Bright there. And then, a little sticky there, I need to add more fibers to this because I find that the little sticky bits are still there. And so then of course we have the top, which previously I had added this floral to it. Again, it's from, from Denise's shop. And I think this finishes it off nicely. Oh, wait, I'd like to use this for that again, because I can kind of attach the fabric a little bit better this way. And then once I know where I want it, I can add more glue and then it's permanently attached. So there is that. So now I'm just going to add my tags, my, my additional pockets, and then this one will be going off to a friend or a pen pal. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like the video, comment below. Um, I appreciate that. I read all your comments. And the reason I did this video, of course, is because many of you left such wonderful comments that you wanted to see the tutorial. So I thought I would show you that for sure. So here we go. I hope you enjoyed the share, my friends, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.